So hi, hello and welcome again, Micro Hunter here. I did receive another question. This time it's about the camera resolution for microscope cameras. And I would like to read uh, you the question first and then I'm going to give you my take, my opinion on, on the issue. So here we go. I'm very new to the world of microscopy. I use it for studying minerals for now. And my question is, is, is why are there 20 megapixel cameras for microscopes if everything over five megapixels is wasted? Well, first of all, thank you very much uh, for the question. Um, some time ago, I did make a video explaining that uh, microscope cameras that have more than approximately five megapixels um, are probably a waste of money because the microscope is not able to produce the image quality that the camera is able to capture. So in other words, uh, if the image quality is, is low, then it's the microscope and not the camera that's to blame because the microscope resolution is limited. And uh, everything above uh, five megapixels for compound microscope studies is, is probably wasted. Um, it might be a little bit different for stereo microscopes because stereo microscopes operate beneath the resolution limit. But generally, generally, I would say um, as a rule of thumb, it might not be worth investing too much money in microscope cameras that have a lot of megapixels. And now the question is, is now if this is the case, why do they still manufacture and sell microscope cameras that have 20 megapixels? And even I have once seen um, on the website microscope cameras with 30 megapixels. Now that is um, a lot. <laughs> and uh, in the case of my uh, DSLR camera here, that has, I think, also a very large number of megapixels. Uh, but generally, um, I've not bought this camera specifically for the use of a microscope. Um, and the question is now is, is why is that? Why do they actually make a yeah, camera sensors with 30 megapixels. And the th reason could be essentially, yeah, a purely one out of marketing. Um, it is sometimes easier to sell um, cameras um, which have a large number of megapixels because many consumers will look at the megapixel value and automatically assume that the image quality is then better. In many cases, this is. But there, as with microscopes, there is a certain limit, as I've just explained. But let's leave the marketing aspect aside because I think there are some um, yeah, other reasons that might be a little bit more plausible um, or might play a, a stronger role here. And that is, is that uh, generally, if you want to connect a camera to a microscope, you want to make sure that the sensor, the camera sensor, is fairly large. Now, low-cost microscope cameras, they have very tiny sensors. But if you want to get the best image quality, then you should look for a large sensor camera. Large sensor sizes, uh, they have several advantages. Um, they have a better signal to noise ratio. This basically means that the low light performance is better. They also have a higher dynamic range. So that means the difference between bright and the dark areas of an image um, are covered better. Um, and uh, those large sensor cameras, of course, often also come with a large number um, of megapixels. So generally what I would say is, is the following is, is there is no point in buying microscope cameras with a high number of megapixels. If the sensor is small, then the image quality is going to degrade. But I'm perfectly fine with having a large number of megapixels, um, uh, high camera resolution if the sensor is fairly large. So you have to see both actually in combination and uh, essentially I think that very often, and that's my next point, is, is the large number of megapixels in the microscope camera sometimes is simply a, a spin-off, a side effect for having a large sensor. Now, another reason could simply be one um, of uh, manufacturing costs. Uh, very often, uh, the camera sensors are manufactured not only specifically for the use on, on microscopes. I would say that that is rather a small market. But there are other uses as well, industrial cameras, maybe uh, maybe in smartphones even, in digital SLR cameras, in industrial cameras, in I don't know, there are a variety of different applications. Um, and uh, it would not make a lot of sense of specifically manufacturing sensors just for the use of microscopes. Um, so I think that is uh, actually more of a cost saving um, aspect. And then another question, and I'm not quite sure if this is uh, very valid or not, but maybe it could be that um, manufacturing a sensor with a large number of megapixels like 20 maybe does not cost so much more than manufacturing one with a lower number of megapixels like for example 10 megapixels yeah because um, yeah you might as well use the larger sensor with a higher megapixel number 
and still get an appropriate image quality um, image quality and it might simply not make a lot of sense of manufacturing one with lower resolution which costs a similar amount and which you might have problems selling so I think these are the real uh, reasons of why cameras are there um, that have that high number of megapixels so my suggestion is 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 if you have a camera like this um, then yeah consider yourself happy um, especially if it did not cost very much but I probably would not uh, invest uh, too much money into those high resolution cameras uh, because um, and very often you're not able to to gain benefit out of the high resolution um, and don't forget that full HD video um, yeah like you're watching right now and uh, also in my other channel it's a full HD video has around two megapixels right and uh, 4k uh, video I think around 8 megapixels or something like that yeah so it's still far below than the 20 megapixel camera uh, that uh, some microscopes have and also don't forget one thing if you really want to record video then you also have to take care that the transmission speed between the camera and the computer is fast enough and of course uh, with uh, a very high resolution uh, camera it's not possible to get the, uh, the transmissions uh, you know, the frame rate um, on, of the video yeah simply some other issues that you might consider so you might have to reduce the resolution in any case I think I'm going to leave it at that uh, please do leave your comments behind uh, maybe you also have some suggestions or maybe some information that I don't have happy micro hunting as always see you around next time bye bye